What's up everyone? So a little different video. I'm sitting down obviously uh, because I'm using my cart and I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the Gator Magnets from Gator Magnetics. Pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, if you want to check them out, you just go to their website, GatorMagnetics.com. Check them out. Their prices is, are different, but most of their uh, magnets are around $13.99, I think, to $15, somewhere $15.99, somewhere right around there. And then they have like a, a garage wall system, which is really cool. That is essentially like if you're familiar with like the gladiator systems that they have for the walls where it's like a track. And then they have all the different style of hooks that you can hook all of your, you know, your weed eater, your rakes and all that jazz. But they have a similar system where they do that as well. And it's like a, basically a metal plate and then you can get all their different style magnets and you can buy them as kits and such. And then they have a welder's kit, a automotive uh, repair kit uh, that comes with like four different sizes, four different styles. So um, one of my biggest complaints about the basically hook world and basically anything that holds anything on your carts on your toolboxes that you want to hang stuff from that you want to mount stuff a lot of the 3d printed stuff is there's no magnets on them almost always they have to be screwed into the side of your toolbox or tool cart or if you're at home a cabinet whatever and some of that stuff like if it's a wooden cabinet or something it's not as big of a deal but when you buy an expensive cart and you spit can't talk if you pay a lot of money for it and honestly me even myself, if I bought a $600 Harbor Freight cart, which there's nothing wrong with that, the last thing I want to do is screw into the side of it. Um, I don't want to drill through it. I don't want to cut it. I, it, I want to keep it nice as long as possible. So that's just me. I know not everybody's like that, but I know that I'm not alone in that because I've talked to a lot of people. So this is a good solution for that. And like I said, they have different styles. I've got the four inch and then a two and a half inch. Um, style right now so I do look forward to trying some different ones that they have I I just bought a welder so I'm gonna try to get the welding kit uh, for my welder so then I can hang uh, all of my stuff from the side of it and then I want to hang my welding helmet because right now it's up in my hutch but anyways that being said what I like about these is obviously you don't have to screw into the side of your box they remove really easily so all you do is flip that up it's a really really cool system and it's hard it's gonna be hard to tell I mean maybe not in the video but this right here is like a soft rubber so you don't have to worry about it scratching up either scratching up your box or whatever you're putting it to and they're super strong so I'm not like when I hang my hooks or when I, not, not my hooks, my sledgehammers. I am not easy on that stuff. Like I have hooks on the side on my slots and dots system. So I am gonna be putting those to the test. I normally just throw them up there. I'm not like launching them up there, but I'm also not, you know, throwing them, you know, being very dainty about it. Uh, I'm normally just, okay, on to the next thing. So, and as you can see, my pry bar fell because these suck from Snap-on, unfortunately. And I love my Snap-on stuff, but they really fell short on those. But that's not what this video is about. I might do another videos on, video on those. Um, but as you can tell, four pound sledge, four pound sledgehammer, hold them just fine. This one will actually hold both just fine. Not a problem, it doesn't slide down. If I push on it, I have to give it a decent amount of pressure. It will slide. Oh gosh, that's way harder. Um, it will slide down, but I have to put a decent amount of pressure on there. So it holds both, you know, that's eight pounds right there. I don't know exactly what they're rated for, but obviously with automotive industry, you're not hanging a ton of stuff. So if you have an eight pound sledge, obviously we'll hold that just fine as well. Um, so as time goes on, I obviously, as I always do on my older videos, I will do an updated review on kind of how they're holding up. I don't go easy on my stuff. I'm pretty rough on it, but I use it every day. So I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. Like I said, if you're interested in these, go to gatormagnetics.com, check them out. I'll put a link in the description as well for their website if you'd like. I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that. Uh, just, I, I reached out to them, asked them if they would mind sending me some because I wanted to try them out. And so far, I'm 
really, really impressed with them. So I'm gonna buy some for myself and I'm gonna buy red because I hate the green. And so I'm gonna buy a, quite a few more for myself so that way I can kind of set some stuff up because I have quite a bit of tools that I would like to have on this cart, but I didn't wanna drill through the side of it. So anyways, as always, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, throw them in the comments section. I'm happy to answer anything I can. For all the haters, go ahead, throw up your comments anyways as well. It helps the algorithm, so I appreciate that. See you guys, have a good one.